Welcome Dragon Champions to another Dragon Log Gaming presents an in-depth character guide on Revel and Snorri. I know I promised this video, uh, I've been telling you guys that I'm going to make this video and I haven't done that. Monday, I had every intention of making this video, but unfortunately, um, I found out on Monday that I have degenerative disc disease in my thoracic spine, uh, and so I've, I've had back surgery before on my lower spine where I had broken my back when I was young, and now I unfortunately seem to have degenerative disc disease in my thoracic spine. And I've just kind of, it's been taking everything I can just to go to work. And so I'm, I'm a little bit slower on what's going on with these. I have been in considerable amount of pain, um, basically since I started do, covering Jag and Champions, but it seems to just be getting worse and not better. And that's why I've gone to the doctor. And cause so I, I wanted to kind of get you guys an idea of why I'm not having the videos out and that sort of thing. The way I have been, I was putting out, you know, videos pretty consistently but this last week it's been really really hard and so i really do appreciate you guys coming out and supporting and that sort of thing uh if you didn't check out my live stream uh that happened uh on the on the 14th um so it's the same day that i'm going to be putting out this video go check that out i do uh, on the test account i do a solo uh, i solo soleus with um uh, with the team i didn't come up with this team uh meta though uh he came up, Metatho came up with this team from be a dragon champions.info. All right. His link is in my description. Go check out his video on YouTube. Uh, it's probably circulating all around. I wanted to see if I could do it. If it's easy to do, it is, you have to have the right character lineup. So go check that video out. It's very, it, it's very important, but because of that video, when I talk about Revel and Snorri, their their value is going to be diminished. And so let's go ahead and talk about Revel and Snorri. First, let's talk about Revel. Revel is, in my opinion, a tier two character. And the reason why he's a tier two character is because he needs someone else to make him exceptional. Uh, he really, really does. He needs Snorri. And Snorri kind of needs him. But I... I Snorri, I've, I've, I've ar can be argued that he's a tier one character. I don't think he is. Um, I think he's a tier two character, primarily because even at high level and even at max, she max uh, gear level, he's so squishy that he just gets smashed. And I, you're going to see that in some of this gameplay that I'm going to show you. But let's talk about Revel and some of his stats. He his speed is 30 130 so he's a little bit he's faster than some of fighters but slower than the mages um you know so he's fat he's one of the faster fighters and damage dealers you know physical damage dealers but when it comes to stuff like uh night el and um uh, night el and 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 ember and freezard he's just slower than them uh, and it takes some time to get his abilities, you know, out there. Uh, he does great physical damage. He's one of the higher physical damage dealers at 3174 um, at gear 11, level 80, you know, max gear score at, number, at 11 and having all his abilities. Let's. His critical damage, I think, is a critical chance is tw almost 22%, which is pretty good. Um, and his physical damage reduction is 15, 1575, and his magic damage reduction is 1368. So he, he just doesn't reduce a lot of damage. He does have pretty good health and shields at 26 um, at, at 26,373, uh, and his shields at 29,000. Uh, 399 so those are actually pretty good so he's kind of tanky and then of course if you add his leadership when you're looking at his leadership he gets 30 percent of his own max you know max health and 50 percent to share store return at random so it's pretty dang good um and so he he can be quite tanky uh so complete opposite though <laughs> the complete opposite is true for snorri snorri is just squishy he is really really squishy and because he's so squishy i 
it, it's a real detriment um, to what he can provide. He's slower than Revel at 126. His max health is 19,510, which is considerably lower. If you look at how I have him here, right, he's got about 42,000 health and shields, right, when I've got him, you know, maxed out and that sort of thing. And, you know, his speed is 126. I mean, I've got him at 153 here. Uh, it's not terribly great. Um, his physical damage is 2927, which is lower. But it, where he really suffers is his physical damage reduction is 1334, and his magic damage reduction is only 923. His critical chance is high, though, at 28, uh, almost 29%. And so you can get him up there. But when you're looking at overall health and just survivability, he just, he's so squishy. He just gets obliterated um, by damage dealers because his da magic damage reduction is so low. Uh, and then when you're talking about Revel, right? Look, Revel's got 57,000 roughly with how I have him set up currently, 57,000. And you're talking about his magic, you know, when you're talking about his defense, Magic armor, right, 31%. Um, physical armor, 36%, right? We're talking about, you know, those are much better numbers than, you know, when then when you're talking about with Snorri. Let's go and look over at Snorri. All right. Looking at his defense, you know, magic armor is 23% and physical armor is 29%. He just doesn't do a whole... He just, he just gets wrecked just wrecked um and i think that you're we're gonna see that um in the gameplay so let's go over their abilities i think that's important to do um to understand an in-depth character guide to go over their abilities let's start with uh with with rebel or lover as i love to call him uh he deals 40 percent of physical damage to an enemy and he flicks bleed for two turns on at at, at his at his max right really good ability flicks bleed right 100% chance to flick, inflict bleed, except for he's got to do his tenacity and potency check. His swipe ability, he hits all enemies, 240% of physical damage to all enemies. That's really nice. Um, he has a his eviscerate ability, 400% of physical damage. If the target is bleeding, he recovers 75% turn meter. It's really good. Anytime you can get turn meter manipulation, that's awesome. Uh, Bloodlust, Revel deals 20% more damage for each stack of bleeding on the enemy. That's a great ability. The problem, of course, is he only stacks one stack of bleed per attack. So we got to make him fast, and he's got to be attacking a lot for him to stack up bleeds. Um, and so that's part of the reason why I believe he's a Tier 2 character. I think he's one of the most beautiful characters in the game. His art um, is really nice. I like big cats like tigers and, you know, tigers and panthers and that sort of stuff. I think they're really cool, just, you know, just me personally. Um, so I really like his art and how he looks. Um, he's very well designed that way. But when we're thinking about, we're thinking about him as a character by himself, he he does a good bit of damage, that sort of stuff, but he really needs someone to apply bleed. And who applies bleed, right, to all characters? That's Snorri. Snorri applies bleed to all characters. And he does that with his deadly whirlwind, 200%, 220% of all uh, physical damage to all enemies and inflicts bleed for two turns. So he has 100% chance to inflict bleed once he had, you know, to hit bleed, and then they have to do their potency and tenacity check on that. And so... That's really, really good. Um, so the two of them work really well together. If we look at the rest of his abilities, Battle Leap, 250% physical damage to an enemy. Snorri has a 50% chance to gain accuracy increase for two turns, which is nice. Um, and then, of course, he has Berserk Stance. Snorri assumes a, ber a Berserker Stance, uh, gains 50% turn meter, and removes three buffs. That's awesome. Um, while Berserk Stance... While in Berserk Stance, he gains 25% crit chance, 40% speed. This cannot be prevented or removed. Using this ability again will cancel Berserk Stance. And so that's that's a good ability too. And then, of course, he has the Dragon Hunter Snorri gains 30% magic armor and 30% tenacity while not in Berserker Stance. If Rezard's on the middle foot, he receives the same buff. That's great and all but the problem of course is is that the moment you put, take him out of this ability and you put him in berserker stance right where he gets all the speed and crit chance and that sort of thing he just 
gets creamed. And you can flip him in and out of it, I guess, if you want to remove any sort of buffs um, that he may have. But by doing that, you're wasting a turn. You're wasting a turn, and then you're making him less effective. He does just less damage because he has less of a crit chance. And so, overall, he just becomes squishy. Uh, and I think that you're going to be able to see that um, as well. So let's talk about how to rune them real quick. I, 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 if we talk about Snorri and how to rune him, I think that you do damage. Uh, I have potency here uh, on him because I want to be able to make sure I've land the bleeds. You gotta want to land the, you gotta want to land those bleeds, right? And so that's where I have him. Same thing. It's the same sort of thing for Revel. You want to have damage and you want to have potency. Um, and so because you want to be able to land those bleeds. So in comparison to other characters, these, they're good. They're good characters, but Revel is a tier two character and Snorri's a tier two character. Um, and even then they were two tier two characters in my book, uh, primarily because you needed them for the raid. You needed them for Solius. And as of today, you don't need them for Solius anymore, right? The characters you need for Solius, uh, to be able to, you know, farm Solius are little baddies. So, uh, so, uh, Solius himself, right? Seven star Solius, little baddie. Those two characters are going to be very difficult to get uh, because they're they're behind. It, you just have to grind for them, right? You're going to have to have your orcs up to seven stars. You're going to be able to, you know, fight Solius and that sort of thing. And then you're going to need to play the game long enough to get little baddie and get her leveled up. And then, of course, Fao, Fao, Fao or Fao, um, you need her up and she's not a great character in the game, but she's really good for the raid. Uh, you also are going to need uh, to have master duo up um, and have his basic ability available to him. And he needs to be pretty quick. And with those characters, and then I, I think I'm missing one. I can't, rem I can't remember the other one off the top of my head right now. Um, I'm sorry, I can't think of what it may be. Um, so, but with those, so yeah, and then Robin, Robin Bad, right? Who is not a good character. So you're talking about investing in, you know, in Robin Bad, Robin the not so bad now, I guess, right? And, you know, and Fow and Duo, which are not great characters for PvP, but they can solo Solius. And if you put them in this combination, you can solo Solius, and I think that's worth doing. And so Revel and Snorri, who I'm using in my raid team, they've just lost value because now I'm going to continue to use them in my raid team while I'm getting these guys up so I can eventually solo that entire the entire thing. And so obviously you don't have to do that. If you have a guild or a raid, um, you know, a guild that can do the T7 raid, then great. If you're in a guild that can't do it and but you have the capability of soloing all of Solius, then you may be very beneficial to your raid, you're into your guild. And so I think that that's um, super important. So let's go back uh, for just a moment and and uh, and talk about and, and go into arena and so this is kind of what i'm also talking about so if we want to talk about these guys as viability for pvp as you can see here on the test account we have basically everybody's running the same team this team i believe will be meta for a while unless something comes out that breaks it it's just so good um and if we go in here and try to run a team with snorri and them in it i you know it's it's a little difficult i kind of think that the better team one of the best teams probably to run would be hera's lead and then we want to grab let's see here no i'm trying to find him there he is and we need one more we need one more here, and I and I, it's a you know a healer of some sort, probably Zantara. I think would probably be the right healer to grab. Uh, and so now we have this kind of team. We, we if we had Renara, that would be really good. And maybe when Renara gets here, we'll it'll be good. But I think what you'll see, and I've run this, I've run this team several times. All right, Snorri just gets massacred. 
He really does. And because he gets massacred, you don't end up losing the ability to drop a lot of these, um, a lot of these good things. Now, um, a lot of these buffs and that sort of thing. So let's see if here we got, we got little baddie out here. We got to kind of have to kill her. We got Solius as well. We're, let's go after Solius. It's a pretty good hit there. He dodges, which is not great. We get bleed. All right. So if we hit this ability, right, we're going to go ahead and hit Berserker Stance, right? He's going to get hurt. Uh, we have Steel Shell out. Obviously, Nightingale's killing us on killing us because she's making it so we can't use it, right? There he goes. See, he's done. <laughs> she hit him for twenty four thousand damage, right? It wasn't even close. They they just wrecked him, and so. I'm going to back out, and I'm going to try to slow that down a little bit and let you see it again. All right. If this is the meta where you have three magic users, three mages, all right, three mages, and then another magic user, what are you going to run against this? I mean, and if you can't use them in the, if you can't use them in the raid, or if the raid is everybody try to get a solo, you know. A solo team, then where, where are you going to use Snorri? Where are you going to use Revel? And that's kind of where I'm at um, in it. So, I, I, as much as I like the characters and I think that they're good characters, I'm not sure where they have a spot right now. Um, and that's kind of the, the sad part. So, if we're looking again here, I'm going to slow it down to two. I am not this time, I'm not going to use Berserker Stance. I'm just going to attack right? This might help him not to be so squishy. As you can see, we're, we're struggling because she's already removed taunt, um, right? We can use still shell, but because Nightiel removes the pre-taunt, we're just going to get creamed. They're going to go after our healer. Our healer's now gone, right? There's just so much good going on in this team, right? And because he didn't go f sooner, right? We've used, because we didn't use um, our Berserker stance, he didn't speed up and be able to use his Whirlwind before Revel used his ability. And the whole thing is just kind of messed up. Now, he's not getting creamed, right? But there he is. He's still dead. And they still heal. And so, as you can kind of see, it just really doesn't work. Um, and especially not against this meta. Uh, this team will not work. We continue to get creamed. We continue to try to do something against them. And we can't. We can't do anything. Um, all right. And so let's go ahead and leave battle. One last thing. I mean, they are very value for the, valuable for the raid. Um, as long as you're not going after these other characters. If we look at where they're accessible at, right? And we can do that here as well, right? And this is kind of the other thing. I mean, when you're talking about being new to the game and building up a team and that sort of thing, right? When you're looking at Revel and Snorri, Snorri is fairly free to play. You can get him out of tower, I believe, right? Let's go grab Snorri real fast and take a look at what he can do. All right, we can find him. He comes right here. He's got two nodes, right? They can be rage 5, 12, and 5, 6, all right? So good mid game, all right? He can also be found in in on in tower, uh, and you can farm him right at a tower. Rebel, on the other hand, is not free to play accessible, right? If you find him, you got to get him out of the market. He's clan 7, 6, and demons 3, 9. I mean, he's quite high up there, and so... To have him, you have to be high level. If we're talking about the other characters, uh, if we're talking about the other characters needed, when we're, you know, Fow, all right? Fow is completely free to play, all right? You can get Fow just by, you know, just by using guild currency. I believe that you can just get her straight from the guild. Um, little baddie, you're going to get free to play, right? By just playing the game, eventually you're going to get enough shards of her by doing the different events and that sort of stuff. Uh, Robin the Bad, all right? I call him Robin the Bad because he is pretty bad. He's got two, two frames. He can get him in tower as well, 312, 2-9, right? So those characters you can get. 
and then you're already leveling up your orcs. And if you're not leveling up your orcs, you should be because you want to get Solius. He's a great healer. He's absolutely amazing. I still think he's the best healer in the game. Um, I know there's some argument about Xantara being the best overall healer in the game. I still think the fact that she sacrifices her own health makes her makes her bad. Um, yes, her, every single one of her abilities heal. However, she hurts herself to heal and then does damage and gives herself back. The mechanic's nice, but Solius, on the other hand, gives so much more. Uh, and I just think that he's the best healer in the game. So you should be doing your orcs, and you should be doing that. And then you could be leveling up these other characters. And so if you're doing those things, right, you're going to get seven-star Solius, and you're going to get all these other characters free to play. I, if you're if you're if you're doing this free to play and you need master duo okay master duo is the last guy and he's also very accessible get him in the arena store two nine and two three it's right out there he's really easy to get a hold of and so yeah you don't, by time you get to t7 you're you probably will have snorri um and revel but you're not going to need them because if you focus your attentions on master duo and you focus your attentions on foul and you focus you know you keep playing the game and you get little baddie and you're leveling up your orcs and you're leveling up your orcs and you're gonna you know gonna get solius then you'll have the team and then you'll be able to solo the raid and so i don't think anybody right now has the ability to do that but you know why why do you need these two characters um and that's kind of where I'm at. And I think that their value has been diminished because of that. So I know this video went a little bit longer than I expected it to, but I wanted to go through and under explain why I kind of took a little bit of time on this, you know, that sort of thing. I wanted to explain what's going on with me. And I also wanted to explain why rebel and Snorri have just gotten diminished. Um, their their values been diminished um and that sort of stuff which i think is a little sad because there are fun characters they got good dynamics they work pretty well but when you're talking about pvp they're just gonna get ran over snorri especially um and then rebel while he's right he's a lot of fun and does a lot of cool things and i think he's gonna be really really good um in a good pride team with a good healer right now you know his real uses were for the raid and now you don't really need him for that so I really do appreciate it. I know it's kind of a sad video when you think about it that way, but that is kind of what's going on. I really do appreciate you guys every time you come into the channel and watch the videos. I do really appreciate that. If you are new around here, hit that subscribe button, hit that notifications bell, drop a comment down below, and we'll see you next time when gaming and the law intersect.